Well, thank you very much. I wish to uh, acknowledge um, the Yugambe people of this nation, to John Graham, who uh, so graciously gave us uh, that wonderful welcome to country, um, uh, to Luther and the dancers who performed, our Torres Strait Islander brothers and sisters as well. Look, it's great to be in a place where you feel centred and where you feel that uh, we can achieve great things um, if we only put our minds to it. I also want to uh, acknowledge uh, uh, our CEO of the National Congress, Australia's First Peoples, Gary Oliver, and his beautiful twins today. <laughs> uh, they're gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. and to Mark Fears, uh, our brother, Ivan, uh, as well. Um, you'll get to hear, um, hear from, uh, um, from us all, I'm sure, while we're here. Look, um, uh, for some time we've known that housing is probably one of the most complex and one of the most uh, uh, unlockable problems sometimes that we have in our country. And uh, there are many factors that attribute to this, uh, particularly in relation to uh, how we engage with, uh, with governments, uh, how uh, we, we engage with each other as stakeholders, um, to fix this issue of overcrowding of uh, town camps, and you would have seen the very destructive and uh, very appalling images that we still have in, in our country around, um, uh, around housing and what that does to our people, what that does to our communities, and how we don't need to be locked into the situation because we're trying to, and we will, through our World Indigenous Housing Conference, find ways and mechanisms and solutions to how we can really um, provide impetus to the growing concern of, uh, of our people uh, in housing situations. And I want to say also that um, housing affordability, I see Brother Wally, um, Wally's here from um, IBA. We, we talk about that in, in terms of, you know, home ownership and how we're able to give our kids, uh, give our families a roof over their heads so that they might be able to flourish in this society, to give their kids a great education, to have employment, to have greater health outcomes. These all derive from proper, good, stable and adequate housing. And as we bring our, um, our friends from right across the, uh, the world with us, come May next year, we're going to find out ways in which we can explore ways together to, um, to look at innovative ways that uh, will suit our conditions for what we want, our co-designs, the way in which we want our people to be properly and adequately housed, the way we want our people to uh, receive better and enriched lives through, um, through proper housing. And that is our main concern. We at National Congress have this dream that um, our people will one day live in the true spirit of unity and the true, true, true spirit of being strengthened through families, communities, but also we need to take along a lot of people with us, particularly, particularly governments. Governments uh, have a right and they have resources and power and knowledge to, to be able to um, help us through this. And soon, I know we'll, we'll be seeing from our, um, our Deputy Premier of the State a message around that. Um, we can only hope that um, this is, is an issue that affects not only us, but all Indigenous colonised peoples of the world. And what better way to bring us together and to share those uh, experiences because we are you and you are us. We're, we're similar, but we're different. We find diverse ways, we find different ways of, uh, of um, implementing issues to our, our situations. And we've been in the game long enough to know that it is not right in our country. We need to look at correcting the impasse between state, federal and Commonwealth governments in terms of locking back and keeping our people beholding, beholden through the housing process. So I feel that, uh, and we all know, that this will be a way that we were able to, to strengthen that but to get messages out, particularly to government and others, other stakeholders, in relation to the, the crisis that we have, uh, not only in our country, but in many countries of the world, in terms of their um, housing for uh, their people of, uh, 
of colour, of uh, Indigenous heritage. So really that's what we're trying to do in terms of bringing us all together. And I really look forward to, uh, to May uh, next year by which uh, we will meet again here at the beautiful Gold Coast on, on John and uh, Mary Graham's land. Uh, the Coomba Mary people of this, of this great nation who always welcome us here, who always have uh, the good grace. But we're working on a common goal and that is to look at housing, how to fix it and how to uh, give our people a decent standard of living. Thank you very much.